This is St. Maurice who apparently died in the third century. Notice that he has night gear and he represents the Middle Ages. Apparently he was part of a Theban legion and they were supposed to sacrifice, kill a whole bunch of Christians and they decided not to. And as a result, they were murdered. Now, black people were living in Europe during the Middle Ages, but Caucasian historians don't like to talk about it. Wherever black people are, you can't ignore them, but they do a good job. Now, there's a reason for that. You see this painting right here? There's a huge significance of this painting. I'm going to discuss this in a future video, but keep, a, keep an eye out for that because this is a very, very significant uh, painting. Now, this man, um, St. Maurice, is depicted as uh, a knight all throughout Europe. Whether you see him as statues or paintings, all throughout Europe, it's the same guy. This guy, for example, clearly has dreadlocks, but no, he's St. Maurice. Even though he might look totally different in other places, it's the same guy, apparently, who died in the third century. Apparently, all black people look alike, I guess. Now, this is a famous painting of the martyrdom of St. Maurice. Do you see any black person there? When someone tells your history, they could say whatever they want, right? The Theban Legion was full of black people, St. Maurice was black, but yet we don't see any hint of a black person in this famous painting. This is one of the reasons why, or the many reasons why, I don't trust Caucasians when they tell their version of history. Another good example is the Inca King List that is in a museum in Lima, Peru. A whole bunch of black people, right? The last black person was Carlos Quintos, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor. What does he look like? Black. See this painting by Caucasians of Charles V, Holy Roman Empire? Emperor? White. I mean, like, really, what's up with that? Now, you think these people are telling the truth about history? I mean, of course not.